I'm Carl Whitcomb, and I want to share with you information about the three members of what we call here at Lace Park the Play It Again series. These are crepe myrtle with the capacity to rebloom over and over and over, and there's three distinct color bars with different colored flowers. But that's to start out with, this is a picture of the original dynamite. Dynamite was the first crepe myrtle with red flowers. Prior to dynamite, there was only pinks, lavenders, and occasionally a white. Dynamite was cherry red, remains cherry red, and, and is a, a, a great color bar even now. But it gets big. It gets 15 to 20 feet tall, and it produces a few seeds where you see these yellow spots here. See, those are the anthers. And those flowers will be fertile and will produce viable seeds. About 30% of them do that. The rest of them, the flowers are so thick and full with petals, the insects can't pollinate them. But with dynamite, we kept saying, wow, what if we could, what if we could extend the bloom time and control the size a little bit. Well, what we came up with, this began to show up, this began to show up in uh, some of the early seedling develops, developments. And what I noticed in watching these plants closely day after day is that the plants that had the fewest seeds, the flowers lasted slightly longer which to me was a message, all right, if I can get rid of select and get rid of more of the flower or the seeds, I can have a longer flower period. Well, so I began to follow that trait. And ultimately, we now have several parents that produce lots of sterile plants. They produce no seeds, but that doesn't mean they're useful plants because they may be off color or washed out pink or nasty foliage and all sorts of things. But ultimately following this avenue, as I did for many years, we came up with three. And this is double dynamite. Double dynamite comes out in the spring with this dark, almost chocolate-like colored foliage. So you have 40 to 50 days, at least here in north central Oklahoma, Oma, with tremendous foliage show in contrast to other plants in the landscape. And then it begins to flower. And you have a series of panicles that bloom. But you notice that for, for these that are in bloom, here's a large panicle and here's another large panicle that have yet to flower. Well, what happens is as these flowers age and finally drop after 14, 16 days, these panicles will be in full bloom. By the time these flowers finally age and drop, these panicles will be back in full bloom again. Because what they do in a most unique and novel and you have to see it to believe it way, is after the flowers fall on this panicle, immediately a new flower bud begins to develop where the old flower had been attached. And it just does this over and over. By the first week of July here in Oklahoma, this plant will be in full bloom and it will continue to have a tremendous flower color, flower show until early October. I mean, it's a hundred days or more of continuous flowering. No deadheading. You don't have to cut off the old seeds to get it to bloom again. You just plant it and watch and enjoy. That's why we call it plant again. It plays that flower color again and again and again all season long without any complications. Um, the other thing about deadheading is that if you have to cut off the old seeds, you have to cut them all off because it only takes a, a few of seeds developing and still immature to stop reblooming, because these don't produce seeds, the bloom period just goes on and on and on. 
So look for double dynamite, shop for it. It'll be worth your effort and you will enjoy it because of its long, long flower period.